Yo, welcome back to AT Vlogs. Today I'm just going to be talking about canvases and I'm also going to be talking about this jacket right here which I recently painted. I painted this while using oil paints and some acrylic paints as well. Uh, the inspiration behind this jacket was just me just trying to do something to the jacket because I thought the jacket was just way too plain and boring for me. So I decided to paint this uh, painting behind the jacket. This is actually a painting that was inspired by one of uh, the weekend's match drops. This merchandise dropped back in 2016 and I really liked this t-shirt. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it, but I thought, hey, maybe let me just try to paint something similar on the back. So yeah, this is what I went for. As you can see here on the sides as well, I went for the upside down crosses. This was also inspired by one of the weekend's you know, albums. This was the Starboy album bum obviously uh, so yeah um this looked pretty cool man um i know i could have just you know tried to do something like maybe just go to a printing shop and get this uh, jacket printed but i wanted to you know to just fiddle around with paint and see what i was going to be able to come with i can't say i'm disappointed with the outcome i think the outcome looks good as you can see here though my little sister is actually wearing the jacket i actually convinced her to actually come through and wear this jacket for me even though that actually took a little bit of time of convincing but yeah anyway in the end this is what the jacket actually looks like um yeah let me know what you think about this jacket down in the comments you know it this was just something i was just fiddling around with i just wanted to see what i was going to be able to do maybe in the future i will actually get better and you know be able to actually do more detailed artworks you know something that actually looks a lot more professional a lot more you know uh ready for like to be sold uh online or whatever it is you know something that that would actually be representable uh as, as something that i can sell to people and stuff like that so yeah overall you know yeah i'm really glad that you know i actually you know started out doing this stuff and you know i'm just going to start out with my own clothing until i get better and have enough confidence to actually go out there and start doing it for other people as well i know that this channel mainly talks about starting a brand but i actually also want to show you that you know i want to tap in into everything that has to do with art and not just digital art not just you know branding and stuff like that you know i want to explore and see what else i'm actually good at you know not just you know me you know uh, being good at you know uh, Photoshop and Illustrator and, and digital art and stuff like that. I wanted to see what else you know can spark my interest. You know what else can I also try and do. So yeah, this is was this was one of the things that I actually convinced myself to do yeah, and, and and so forth. So yeah, while we are still talking about exploring other types of art, I got this canvases from the Mall of China. I, I'm not sure if it's, if it's, I'm not sure if it's actually called the Mall of China, or I think it's called China City or something like that. I'm not sure, but yeah, it is a mall uh, in, in the outskirts of Johannesburg, uh, right there in the city. So yeah, I actually went there. I got some paints, I got some brushes, and I also got these canvases. Right now, I've only used two canvases, as you can see right here. The small canvas with a man wearing a jacket and a beret uh, was the first canvas that I actually painted on. I can say I'm disappointed or I can say that, you know, it doesn't look good. It, it looks decent for somebody who was just trying out and I didn't have any prior experience when it comes to painting or canvases or anything like that. I just wanted to see, you know, uh, what what the outcome was going to be. So, yeah, um, what I will say, though, is that when I transitioned into the second canvas, the the when I got to the second canvas, this is the one that you can see right here. Uh, it had been a few months since I had painted and you, as you can see, it just absolutely came out horrible. By the time I paint on the big canvas, I'm definitely going to try and redeem myself. I'm definitely going to try and paint something that's actually worth putting up on the wall. As you can see right here, 
the canvases also come with these wood chips right here you can actually use this to frame up your canvases on the wall and stuff like that so yeah so yeah the canvases come fully equipped with everything i did go out there and find an alternative way in which you can also get canvases if you're also interested in starting to paint on canvases and stuff like that you can actually go on this website right here on the screen and you can order your canvases they're actually really affordable and they are of high quality and they are made right here in south africa so it's a proudly south african product i'm not even gonna lie to you i am broke right now okay because i know that i did promise you guys that i was going to order something on printful you know this year but i'm still going to do that just that i, I wanted to do it sometime in january but right now i am flat out broke and so i'm just going to be posting videos just to keep in touch with y'all and actually you know show you guys what i'm up to and you know sort of show you all the type of skills and places that i'm trying to explore in within the world of art but i do promise that i'm still going to keep my word and i'm still going to come back into talking about starting a brand i'm still going to come back into ordering from painful i'm still going to come back into talking about all these other different ways in which you can brand your brand and actually get more people to see your brand and stuff like that actually in my next video i'm actually going to be talking about that i'm going to be talking about alternative uh, methods ways and products you can brand that are actually a lot more affordable and will bring you a lot of profit back in which you can actually go and finance on starting your brand printing t-shirts hoodies caps all those other things so yeah on my next video that's what we're going to be talking about anyway do not forget to like and subscribe i'm out and we'll be back on the next video